Question 3. A. When a sample of hydrated lithium ethane diode uh, is uh, gently heated, two gaseous products form and a white solid residue remains. So the residue is added to the nitric acid. A gas produced turns lime water milky. So we are quite sure now the residue is not oxide, it's a carbonate. Because when this residue means after heating, um, when we put in acid, it's from CO2 gas. So we are quite sure it's a lithium carbonate. M. Therefore, complete the equations for the decomposition of this uh, hydrated salt. Okay, so we know that uh, now this uh, lithium ethane diode uh, salt um, will decompose and form lithium carbonate. And the two gases they are, of course, this is the one that, uh, that uh, removed the uh, water of crystallization, okay, the H2O. Uh, and this part is uh, because uh, you must put the CO, right? Because uh, you need to balance uh, because it's a C2O4. Uh, so therefore, it's, uh, because here already uh, is a lithium carbonate. So the another gas, it should be uh, the carbon monoxide. Okay, because 2C and after that, 4 oxygen. Okay, part B. The trend in decomposition uh, temperatures of group 2 ethane diodes is similar uh, to those group 2 nitrate. Okay, suggest which of the salt, the, uh, this calcium ethane diode or barium uh, ethane diode, will decompose at lower temperature. Uh, again, uh, so for the trend, for this uh, group 2 nitrate, uh, the thermal stability increases down the group, means when down the groups, uh, those uh, uh, compound is harder to decompose. It needs more heat or higher temperature. So we are quite sure the calcium ethane diode is the one that uh, decompose easier. Right? So this is the first thing. Lower thermal stability of this salt, therefore easy to decompose. Okay, so you just need to explain why. Okay, so calcium ethane diode will decompose at lower temperature because uh, the calcium ion has greater or higher charge density. So because if we compare this calcium ion and barium, uh, calcium is smaller, barium is larger, both they have the, the two charge positive, two charge positive. So we know that the charge density of this calcium ion must be greater. When it has greater charge density means it can uh, pull or attract electrons toward itself means when there is uh, that let's say this uh, the, the cations and ion together because the charge density of this calcium ion is greater it can actually distort or polarize the anion okay distort and polarize means actually similar meanings uh, polarize means uh, is able to uh, because now the and ion is not really symmetric uh, because the electron crowd already get distort so we say that it's get polarized uh, so it's not the electrons now not equally distribute right uh, so this is a reason why uh, because of the calcium ion has greater charge density and the n ion now it can be or it's more polarized uh, because of the higher charge density of calcium ion uh, part c Potassium uh, iron 3 ethane diode, uh, this salt, okay, dissolve in water to form a green solution. Okay, explain why transition elements always they can form color color complex complexes. Um, so this one uh, first you need to relate to the uh, the uh, DD splitting means uh, okay. Let's look uh, at this one. Uh, so. Whenever there is a ligand approach, right to the met, uh, transitions metal cation, the d orbitals initially they are all degenerate, same energy level. Uh, when the ligand approach to this metal cation, the ligand will uh, approach to a different direction. So uh, it will it will approach 
uh, to the six directions if it's from the octahedral complexes. And therefore, uh, some of the d orbitals uh, will uh, split to higher energy level, right? And uh, the two, let's say now, is from octahedral complex. So the d z square and d x square y square, these two orbitals will uh, split or will uh, go to higher energy level because it's experienced more repulsions when the uh, this ligand approach. And the d x y x z and y z will stay at or relatively lower energy level compared to these two orbitals. That's why we call this one as DD splitting. And DD splitting is because of what? The ligands that approach that form bondings. Right, okay. So after this uh, DD splitting happen, so we know that there are electrons in the D orbital. So the electrons in the uh, lower energy D orbitals will absorb the energies from the like and it will get excited. Okay, it will jump up. So, therefore, some of the light now is being absorbed and we cannot really see this light. We will see the complementary uh, color of this light. Ah, so, this is the, the reason. Ah, again, let's get back to the, the answers. Uh, when ligand approach and form dative bonds with, uh, or form bonds with the transition metal uh, ions, the DD splitting happen. Okay, this is what I told you just now, the DD splitting. And the electron in lower energy uh, D orbitals therefore will absorb light and get excited to higher energy uh, D orbital. This is what I told you just now. And the colored scene is complementary of the light that being absorbed. Okay, for example, if let's say the um Let's say, okay, green color, right? Let's say now, green color is the one that being absorbed. So we will not really see this color, you know, we cannot see this color. So we no longer see this color. We will see the complementary color, means uh, it's almost like uh, red colors, kind of that, right? Uh, so this we call complementary color. We cannot see the light that being absorbed, we will see the complementary color. Okay, part D, uh, the anhydrous iron 3 compound, okay, this one, decompose on heating to form a mixture of these three. Uh, complete the equations for decomposition. Uh, actually, this is quite simple. <laughs> so you just need to balance it. Uh, so you get this ratio, uh, 2, 2, 1, 2. Right, easy. Um, okay, part E. Uh, for this one, um, okay, you need to draw the two stereo isomer uh, because now the... Uh, this complex ion is, has three bidentate ligand. So whenever the complex ion is, has three bidentate ligand, uh, it will just form these, uh, these uh, optical isomers. Means uh, you need to draw the mirror images, which they are non super impossible. Right? Okay. So first, you need to draw uh, the, this one. Okay, uh, the iron with the three bidentate ligand. Uh, okay, in this question, I already told you the bidentate ligand, you can use this one to uh, to represent. Okay, that means uh, when you draw, you use this one. Okay, make sure uh, the dative bonds is from the oxygens to the, this uh, metal uh, cation, this iron. Uh, so this one, okay, is a uh, one bidentate ligand, two dative bond. Okay, and this one is a uh, one bidentate ligand, two dative bond, another bidentate ligand, two dative bond. So there will be a uh, six dative bond form here. And when you draw the mirror images, make sure you must draw the compatible one, means uh, it follows the first one. Okay, when you draw on this side, make sure the mirror image is on also ab uh, above the plane and is on this side. Okay, it's like a mirror. Uh, imagine there is a mirror there. So, uh, okay, this bidentate ligand must draw on uh, left-hand side. If uh, this one is on right-hand side, this one mis must be above the plane, left-hand side. Okay, and this one, of course, if this one is on left, this one must be on right. Okay, this one, uh, if this is on uh, right, below the plane, this one must be below the plane, on left-hand side. Okay, something like this. Uh, part F, buffer solutions are used to regulate pH. 
write two equations to describe how a solution that contain this sort, containing this sort, act as a buffer. Uh, so in this question, uh, you need to uh, assume this uh, this uh, ion is a base and uh, alkaline. Means uh, if you act as a base and acid, right? Uh, yeah. So let's say now. Uh, when the uh, this uh, acid added the H plus so this acid will react with this uh, this uh, ions this anion so therefore uh, this anion if this is acid uh, this must be a base base means is the uh, proton acceptor uh, so therefore this one will gain this proton the the one that added to form the acid uh, so this is therefore is act as a base because it's except the proton to form this acid. Uh, if now hydroxide added, then this anion now need to act as an acid. So acid means donates proton. So this this proton need to uh, donate to this uh, and uh, combine with hydroxide to form H2O. So now this anion uh, is uh, acid donates proton to form this C2O4, 2 negative, and H2O. Okay, part G. A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that can be used to generate electricity uh, using the oxygen to oxidize the fuel. Now we have this ethane dioic uh, acid, okay, this one, uh, dissolved in alkaline electrolytes and uh, is being investigated as a fuel. Okay, now uh, it's given two uh, standard electropotential. Uh, so one is this uh, oxygen uh, to form hydroxide, CO2 to form this uh, anion. Uh, so from these uh, two electropotential, we, uh, uh, we should know which one is cathode and anode. Okay, because this one is more positive, so we know that uh, it will stay, means it will stay as a reduction form, means it will gain electrons. So when it's against electron, it's a cathode. And this one is more negative, so uh, if you uh, release electron and therefore it's anode. So means this one release electron is telling you this equation need to reverse. So means uh, the C2O42 negative now will form the CO2 and the uh, two electron. Uh, it's something like this. Uh, if you want to draw this or you want to give uh, write this uh, overall, equa uh, overall cell reactions equation uh, so you can start from here uh, so because the first one is stay so you just let it be and after that uh, the second you need to reverse and times two because four electrons here here need to times two so uh, need to reverse times two for the second equation uh, after that you get this one okay so combine these two half equation uh, eliminate the electrons so you get this equation, right? So you get this over equation. Um, and after that, you need to calculate the E naught cell. E naught cell, you use the E cathode minus E anode. Okay, to get the anode and cathode, I already told you. So cathode, now we know that is this one. So use 0 0.4 minus the cathode. So uh, therefore, you get uh, positive 0 0.99 volt. Okay, that's all. Thank you.